to making a carrot whistle. I've taken the top of the carrot, done the segment off, and now I'm trying to get into the carrot. Um, I don't think there's exactly a safe way of doing this, but we're just kind of twizzing a knife into the carrot. It does sound lovely. Over here. I make it hollow. How you make a cut hollow? No idea. Just got to drill into it. And I got to be careful not to like spit through the carrot. Like you don't want the carrot to crack or break. Because like when you try to make a carrot whistle, having like a hole in your carrot is not gonna work. Clean the knife off constantly because we don't want more cracks of going. I'm using this because of my utensils. When I have my knife and fork, I do have one of these. I just can't eat, don't have it in the dishwasher. It's going to keep taking some cat out. Turn into the cat a little bit. As far as you can go with that. Okay, so this bit, you're gonna make like a little stub so it like fit in between there. So I suggest like, on a cat, you can see you've got this middle bit here. I suggest you try to try and get near enough to that. It's supposed to be like a square shape. So like that. It fits. Oh, it fits about there. I suggest I just take it down a little bit more. My cat rolls into the camera. Lovely, lovely. Just like cut it so it's a little bit short, about a quarter of the way off, and then it should fit in there quite nicely. Before you put it in, clean that. You want to make about that far off, about half a centimeter away from the carrot. Make a direct incision about halfway down to your carrot. So you want to angle slice just a little bit so you can have your little air pocket and then that will make it easier for obviously being able to get the air through and that will make a sound that when I just carve into it a little more and then I'll just like adjust it slightly tend to put this bit in here I think we'll have to do some more drilling. If it doesn't work, you want to carry on drilling through your carrot. And dropping it all over myself, I do not recommend. Because I've got carrot all over myself. It's a case of just like adjusting what you've got. Adjusting like how far you go down the carrot while drilling it, how far you put your incision here in, just trying to get it right. and cat everywhere again. Okay. 
video. Try again. Got a nice little hollow inside there. I'll try and put my carrot piece back in. <laughs> okay, it's a big improvement compared to what we had last time. Try and push it a little I think we're gonna have to make this bit here a little bit bigger. Bigger entrance there. And then where I put my carrot piece is there. That's a bit carrot now. Do you love it? Do you love it? Always eat your veggies. I think I'm going to make a little bit more a longer version, a little bit thinner, because I do have a little part of cat that I messed up last time. Um, yeah. I'm on attempt two and I'm just like carving it out for attempt three. There's a carrot everywhere. Like ricochets of everything. Okay, I'm gonna try to do the whole hello get out thing. We'll try. This carrot just progressively got smaller and smaller. Because you know, only small cat because this exists these days apparently. I'm gonna use the top of the cat and see if I can work with that. doesn't like me very much. He's making noise. 